Hello, my name is Michael Shatani, and I am a Market Development Manager at Dwyer Instruments. Thank you for your purchase of our Series ADPS or Series EDPS differential pressure switches. These pressure switches can be used to monitor the pressure drop across filters, to monitor the building pressure, to protect against high duct static pressure, or to prove that a fan is operating. The major differences between the switches is that the series EDPS is ETL listed to meet UL508 standards for motor control. As part of the standard, the EDPS is comprised of plenum rated plastics. All of the other features and operations are the same for both switches. For the best operation, the switch should be mounted with the diaphragm in the vertical position, with the pressure connections facing down. If the unit is mounted in the horizontal position, the electrical connection should be facing up. There will be a 0.08 inch of water column difference from the dial if it is mounted in the horizontal position. The differential pressure switch is attached to a duct or another flat surface using four integral mounting ears on the housing. If a flat surface is not available, L-shaped mounting brackets model A-288 or S-shaped mounting brackets model A-289 are available. When using these brackets, only use the screws that are provided to prevent any damage to the housing. After mounting the unit, the next step is to connect the tubing to the pressure connections. The internal diameter of the tubing should be a quarter inch or six millimeters. The higher of the two pressures will connect to port P1 and the lower of the pressures will connect to port P2. The hose should be connected tightly and shouldn't have any kinks. The condo connections on the switches can be rotated to be in one of three positions. After removing the cover, locate the conduit on the desired position on the housing. The switches have three terminals, one for normally open, one for normally closed, and one for common. All wiring should be according to local or national electrical codes. All power should be turned off to the units before doing the wiring connections. The knob in the center of the switch can be used to set the activation point on an increase in pressure without connecting an additional gauge or manometer. The set point on the dial is only accurate when the diaphragm is in the vertical plane. After setting the set point, the cover should be attached before testing the operation of the switch. Thank you for watching today's video. If you have any questions on the products we discussed today, please contact our technical support department or visit our website at www.dwyer-inst.com.